want to create a habit tracker in ClickUp that looks like this? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. Now, this video was requested and I thought it was a really great idea and I've been thinking about it for a while now. So I was just like, why not? Now, if you don't know what ClickUp is, it's a project management tool that I've been obsessed with for almost a year now. And if you would like to check it out, the link will be in the description. Definitely play around with it a little bit and see how you like it. But from my experience, it is the best project management tool I've tried. So let's get right into it. So I'm on my ClickUp right now and I'm going to create a new list and I'm going to name it Habit Tracker. So this whole list is going to be uh, a habit tracker. So I'm just going to add a few more emojis to the title just so it would be a little bit more cute looking, I guess. And I'm just going to add a label color to it. Now I'm going to add the habits. So the tasks are going to be the habits that I want to do. Things like working out, making your bed, prepping breakfast for the night before, anything you want. You can add anything. Next thing we're going to work on is those custom fields. We're going to remove the unnecessary ones that we don't need and we're going to create new ones. So the first one I'm going to create is a number custom field. And this custom field is basically for how frequently you're going to do each habit. That's the point of it. So how frequently you're going to do each habit per month. So this is going to be a monthly habit tracker. But we're going to track the rest of the habits on the previous months as well. I'll just show you that later. Now I'm going to add the amounts. So how frequent, how many times do I want to do this habit this month? What is my ideal? What's the goal? All right, once that is done, I'm going to add a new custom field and it's going to be the progress custom field. And this is literally to measure how many times I've done each habit. So as you can see, when I move the bar, you can put it on a certain number. And as you saw, when I was editing the custom field, I added the final number. I changed it from 100. I changed the final number from 100 to 31 because 31 is the maximum amount of days you can have in a month. Now that that is added, we're going to add another custom field and this is optional. If you don't have a lot of habits, like maybe you only have three habits that you're focusing on at the moment because you know you want to start small, then you don't have to do this one. However, if you have at least, I'd say five habits or more, and if they should be done at a specific time of day, then you can create this custom field to basically just organize them in that way. So I'm going to do morning, daytime, and evening. And yeah, I literally just choose what habits need to be done at what time of the day. As simple as that. I just quickly wanted to mention that I am actually hosting a free live masterclass all about the four step framework for achieving your most ambitious goals. Even if you're unorganized with planning, inconsistent, and don't have a habit of doing things on time. It will be live on December 18th. And if you would like to reserve your seat, then the link will be down in the description. I hope to see you there. Now let's get back into the video. Now, the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to add a board view and I'm going to pin this because I want this to be the main view for this habit tracker. You always got to auto save your views every time you create a new one. And I'm also going to group all of these habits. So as you can see, the habits right now are grouped by status, but the status in this list does not matter at all. So I'm going to group them by the custom field, which is time of day. And now you can see why this custom field is great when you have more than five habits, for example, because you can organize them in that way. It'll just be less cluttered, you know? Then we need to make sure that the frequency and the progress bar are also seen on the cards so we could actually use them and see them. Then when you click on a habit, 
now I'm basically gonna create a table where you can track all of the times you've done that certain habit every month so I'm gonna add the month column the goal column and then how many times I've actually done that habit that month and then you're gonna add all of the months on the left side this is just an example so I'm just gonna do a few months I'm not gonna do all of them but basically you're gonna add all of the months in a year in the left column then the goal is whatever the number you want the goal to be for each month if it's a new habit you have to start small don't go for immediately like oh i have to do this every day because it might be a little bit unrealistic especially depending on how hard that habit is or how much time that habit actually takes to complete so that's it really depends on those factors so have you done that habit before how difficult it is to complete and how long it takes to complete and every month you gradually increase the number and then you know the right column will be the actual number but since i haven't completed any of the months yet then this is going to be blank but that's where you're gonna add the final number at the end of each month now on the bottom we gotta add a few rewards so i'm just gonna add a gift emoji here and add a checklist of rewards so if I've done a habit, for example, 10 times, then my reward will be such and such, for example. Then, you know, if I've done the habit 20 times, then I get ABC reward or whichever reward you want to add. Now, keep in mind, I always say this, but make sure that the reward does not ruin the progress of the habit that you're doing. If you have a goal to work out a certain amount of times in a month your reward should not be like eating a whole cake for example or something like that or having a takeout have something that is actually aligned with who you want to be at the end of the day and have some healthy rewards and then actually when you're using this habit tracker all you have to do is every day when you complete the habit you just move the progress bar uh, by one and like that so at the end of the month you might have you know the bars looking like this for example and before you put them back to zero to start a new month you're gonna record all of that in in the table that's in the description of each habit and yeah that is basically it it's as simple as that now if this video helped you or gave you some inspiration give it a like and subscribe for more videos about digital planning task management productivity and all of that good stuff definitely check out this playlist for more content about planning in ClickUp. I hope you have a productive day and I will see you later. Ciao!